people, I believe, with, with the, uh, knowing the story better, I think a line of people would form to come here. And that's one of the real shames of this and of the Apalachicola Basin itself, is that we have so much here that people don't know is here. This was uh, the largest colony of free African Americans in North America at the time it existed. They had put their foot down and declared that they were free people, and they fought to the death for their freedom. This part of the bluff projects out into the river just a little bit. And if you look to the south, um, you can see for two miles down the river, uh, which was been the, probably about the maximum range of the cannons here. So for two miles, if an enemy ship approached, they could fire on them from this point. When the battle took place here, on July 27th, 1816, the American gunboats came into range as far down as you can see on the river. American troops and Creek warriors have surrounded the fort for a week at this point. The Americans fired five shots from two different boats. And then they thought, well, maybe we can lob one over behind the fort. What happened was it hit a pine tree and ricocheted off of a pine tree down into the gunpowder magazine. The Army estimated that 270 died in a flash, just gone. These were people who came here and became free and they fought for that freedom rather than surrender and go back into slavery. And so you've had all these dramatic changes through history, but the river is what has tied it together and led to a lot of the violence that has happened you know, in this valley. Just as you had then two different cultures, that's what you have today. Whatever our backgrounds are, whatever our races are, this is our home. Florida has difficult times ahead, but I think maybe the answer is looking, looking into our past a little bit to see where we've had our successes. I got so attached to this place when I was a kid. Uh, my parents would bring me out here. And then it was all covered in trees. You could, you could barely see even the earthworks that you see today. But the stories that you would, you know, and you learn more about it and read more about it. You don't think these pine woods of North Florida and you don't think of the largest, uh, you know, deadliest cannon shot in American history or the largest settlement of free blacks in North America in its day. Um, you don't think War of 1812 being fought here. This is a, this river basin is full of this type of history. It's a, just such a special place. And whether people live in Tallahassee or Miami or Atlanta, you know, I hope that they, they come here and see it for themselves and then they'll see why we're fighting tooth and nail to try to save it.